This video was originally released eight years ago. This is the remake to show you how well these painted subfloors have held up. In this video, I will show you how to pull up your subfloor and paint it to look like wood. There are a lot of things needed for this project. I listed the complete supply list in the description of this video. Before we get started, get your tools, safety glasses, rug cutter, a chisel, some sharp shears, knee pads, gloves, and you might want pliers as well. Start by cutting your rug at any point where it meets the wall. You will need to pull up the subfloor as well. Make sure you have your safety glasses on. Use a mallet or hammer and get that chisel underneath the running staple boards that will be to the plywood and the wall or your shower in this case. The plywood under my rug is OSB board, so I chose to patch it with dry deck. You can use regular compound for this. It will work just as well. I sanded the floor and used a high adhesive, just regular primer. Now for the fun part, I use DIY paint in little black dress, bohemian blue, and layered chocolate. The first layer of glaze I used clear patina and letterpress gray. No skill required for this. Use a plastic scraper or even an old paint brush and just randomly apply right over the primer. This is gonna be your very first base coat just to add some depth of color as you advance into the rest of the painting. You should have a Jackson Pollock mess by the time you're done. This is where you want to start making fake baseboards. Don't overlap the lines. Paint straight lines or use a plastic guide. Once the gray is dry, mix one part vintage linen with one part clear patina, or you could do a little more. I like it to be pretty opaque at this point. You're going to trowel it on, and then you're going to wipe up excess so some of that gray is still showing through with a paper towel. You see how sheer coats are better. I have a lot of paper towels on hand. You can see I'm blotting it up and rub. If you take up too much, allow it to dry before you put on more because the glaze will sometimes act as a glue and pull up everything at once. Keep a spray bottle nearby. You can reactivate it if you want it to be a little more sheer. It's just gonna take some trial and error as you can see here. You're looking for it to be really imperfect. Depending on the look you want, you can optionally use watered down DIY dark patina. I wanted to add some brown to this, so I added that using the same process I used in the other ones. Because this is my bathroom, I use Marine Premium Wood Sealer. It's waterproof and holds up. These are my floors today. This is eight years later and they still look as good as they did the day I did them. I absolutely love these floors. Some point I'll put real floors in, but this is really awesome for the time being. The floor has been through three dogs, one really big dog, a bunch of kids, a husband, and hey, it's still really good. I hope that I inspired you to make over your floors and to not worry, if you don't have it in your budget, just pull up that carpet and paint those subfloors. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button for more trash makeovers. Thanks for watching Redo Interior.